Good evening. The man in charge of an overcrowded boat which capsized in the channel, killing four of those on board, has been given a nine-year sentence. Ibrahim Abar was found guilty by a jury earlier this week. He claimed he was forced by people smugglers to pilot the boat from France. The prosecution said he failed in his duty of care to the 43 people on board the dinghy. Barr was sentenced at Canterbury Crown Court earlier with some of his supporters holding a rally outside. Our reporter Kit Bradshaw was there and sends this. More than 1,100 small boats made the treacherous crossing from France to these shores in 2022. This case was about just one of them, a boat which sank in the early hours of the 14th of December of that year. An overcrowded inflatable dinghy only suitable of carrying 20 people safely. There was at least 43 people on board. The man at the controls was a migrant himself, Ibrahim Abar, from Senegal in West Africa. He was found guilty earlier this week of manslaughter by gross negligence of four of his fellow migrants. The men drowned when that boat capsized miles from the Kent coast in the middle of the night. He was sentenced today to nine years, six months detention for those four counts of manslaughter and for a charge of facilitating illegal entry to the UK. The judge, Mr Justice Johnson, telling him in court, you disregarded a high risk of death. You were the person in control of that boat and in that sense, you played a leading role in the offending. Now, earlier this week, prosecutors told us that given the nature of what happened that night, the true loss of life may never be known. Um, we believe that, you know, there was possibly at least one more person who, who died. I think it's also incredibly sad that three people remain um, unidentified of the deceased and that possibly somewhere in the world there's a family that's thinking, how unusual is it that we haven't heard from our loved one? The judge did say in court that the primary responsibility for what happened did not lay with Barr, but with the gang members who procured an unsatisfactory and unsafe vessel. And not everyone was happy about this conviction or today's sentence. The public gallery was packed with supporters who held a rally outside and told us that they felt Barr had been unfairly scapegoated. This is a, uh, a young lad uh, who was forced to, to uh, steer the boat and it, he wasn't responsible for for the for the for the for how the dinghy was uh he wasn't you know he was forced he was forced to steer it and when he did he actually uh, i mean some of the other survivors said you know he saved their lives you know so that but and, and he's just been convicted of a manslaughter this was a landmark criminal case, the first time a migrant on a small boat has been held culpable for harm caused to fellow passengers. But whatever you feel about the criminal proceedings, this was a human tragedy in which four men trying to seek refuge in the UK paid with their lives. A report by the Marine Accident Investigation Branch will be published in the coming weeks. Kit Bradshaw reporting there. In other news tonight,